like to create a little presentation on how to do a solid feature that uh, I've been um, experimenting with and and trying a few things with it. It's not the all-out thing, but it's pretty slick the way things go. And I will do some unconventional things the way I draw this just to get a point across. But what I would like to do is draw this part and only create four lines. Four lines total, but I'm going to create this part as a solid model using only four lines. That's what I mean by having to be a little creative how I get my geometry out there, but um, we'll, we'll get started and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So, uh, first line I want to create, just draw me a line right here at my origin, drag it out so far, parts eight inches long, create me a line eight inches long, there we go, we right mouse click, fit it to the screen, scroll it down a little bit, now I got a line and I'll spin a little geometry right there. One single line on the screen, I'm going to come into solids. I'm going to grab extrude. I'm going to chain that piece of geometry there. And I automatically get geometry because here under this advanced side, I have extruding direction. And this part's five inches long, coming off dimensions off the part. And I find it easier to get the width first and then come back and type in the length. So the next thing I'm going to do, that part is an inch and a half thick. Now I've got me a block out there with an inch and a half thick block. Um, if you know a few things about Mastercam, I could come in and double click on this line and drag this, this entity out a little bit longer. If I want that block longer, regen the solid, and it follows the length of that line automatically. So it's, it's just following the length of that line. And I could come back to the solids tree and back to my extrusion and make the part a little bit thicker or make the block a little bit taller. So. Just another way to think about how to get stuff done and how to do stuff as we draw. Another piece of geometry here, we'll draw draw another wireframe geometry at an endpoint. Something I rarely ever, ever do is type in coordinate systems. If I was really drawing this geometry, I'd probably create me a couple parallel lines, but I said only four, so we're gonna stick to that. And that dimension is uh, 750 comma and we're off one inch off the coordinate system there we go so now i got a line out here somewhere and i'm working on that other other part of the block i'm working on this this block right here that's a coordinate system i typed in so this pocket is four inches correct four inches there we go now i got me a pocket of four inches back to my solids tab extrude grabbing the block at the same spot it actually creates a solid, but I want this to be a cut. You could change this one now because I got all my dimensions going in the right direction. It's going to be an inch deep. Come back here to my advanced page, and this part is two inches tall. So there's that geometry I have there. So far, I've used two lines. Um, wireframe tab parallel. Grab this one, drag it up a little bit. Offset distance is that pocket's three inches. Oop, gotta type in the right number, three. There we go, there's three inches there. So I got three inches to there. Now I gotta go trim a piece of geometry. I'm gonna trim to a point. I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna trim it to that midpoint, which gives me my two inch width across that line. Solids, extrude, grab it on the same side. There we go. It is a cut. Um, the depth is the same, but I need to reverse the direction this time. And it doesn't really matter how far you drag this as long as we intersect the other one. And now we're good. So there's that pocket of three inches wide. Just to make sure, I like to check things as I go along. And I pick this piece of geometry here. And I got a config issue working in metric, but now that part is three inches. That pocket is three inches long. This piece of geometry here is two, and I have to go put in all my fillets. And I'm up to three lines now, and I got one more piece of geometry to create as I need to create this cutout. So back to my wireframe geometry, I want to create a line. I'm going to pick, oops, got to start typing in some dimensions, uh, eight comma and 1.5 I would really probably put a parallel line there but doesn't get the point across there we go this pockets two inches tall 
two inches tall there we go there's my two inch tall pocket solids extrude pick the same side so I can see it yeah, I know it's already going in the wrong direction second direction that distance is two and a half there we go back to the basic it is a cut and it is 1.125 deep there you go so this is this drawing that I created only four lines total to get that drawing created all together I've always had problems with Mastercam not being able to um, chain a open chain and make a cut out of it so I started using the feature of the thin feature and just using that as my open chain if I'm going in all in one direction as I go uh, just just something I've experimented with and if I would drag this bigger this line doesn't follow but it's still I could drag them both or manipulate them or move them but it it does fairly distance and decent and I can go back and fix whatever I need to so just just an um, out of the box way of thinking of how to solid model apart using the thin feature inside the solids menu. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed it.